extravagance of the ceremony was the first sign this was more than just an opening of a train tunnel. It was the culmination of 17 years of work, a $16 billion investment, Switzerland's construction of the century. The new Gotthard Tunnel cuts through the Alps, long considered Europe's natural trade barrier. It'll save time and reduce pollution, taking as many as a million transport trucks off the road. It's also part of our policy that uh, we have to protect uh, uh, not only the atmosphere, but also the Alpine region. Although European transport hubs have been hit with attacks in recent years, experts say this will actually be safer than the previous route by car. 11 people died nearby in 2001 when two trucks crashed and caught fire. These modern tunnels are much safer than the old tunnels that they used to use because they've got escape routes and the pressure in the, in the safety tunnel is always slightly higher so that the smoke doesn't get into it. The project's biggest achievement, though, may be bringing Europe closer together, an increasingly divided continent. Leaders came from France, Germany and Italy to show they work better when united. Aujourd'hui, c'est en Suisse que le rêve européen a trouvé sa réalité. Today in Switzerland, the European dream became a reality, said French President François Hollande. The symbolism of a united Europe almost as striking as the costumes and dance moves. Thomas Dagg, CBC News, London.